what happens when satanic worship accidentally airs on live TV. You're about to see something that most people will downplay or deny. An undeniable moment where darkness got a platform of millions of people to view. This wasn't just an accident. It's something bigger of a spiritual battle that's going on behind the scenes right now. Watch the video all the way to the end. I'm gonna break some things down. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video right now. God bless you guys. Let's get right into it. Proposed legislation today. It's in part due to the stabbing of a police dog during an arrest in Brisbane last year. What you just saw was not just some random event. This was a satanic ritual accidentally aired on a live news broadcast channel. You can even see the upside down cross, which is blasphemy against the cross of Jesus Christ, where he died for our sins on Calvary. There are people in the background of this ritual, and one of the figures is heard loudly proclaiming, Hail Satan! Let's be real, this is not just harmless theatrics. Satanists and occultists often express rebellion and blasphemy towards God. The transvestites in the video, the pentagrams that were shown on the table where they were doing the ritual, and all the imagery you guys saw is usually part of a larger scale of rebellion. It's a message that Satanism is built upon, it's their foundation, which is opposition towards everything Christ stands for. But here's something else you need to understand. Many Satanists will tell you they don't even actually worship Satan. They claim they worship themselves and that they are God. They promote self-exaltation, self-indulgence, and rejection of the absolute truth. That's why you'll hear them say things like, we don't believe in Satan, we just use him as a metaphor for rebellion. But that's a lie from the enemy. Revelation chapter 12, the ninth verse says that Satan is a deceiver of the entire world. Here's what Satan doesn't want anybody to know. Even if people are saying they just worship themselves or they're using Satan as a metaphor or symbol, they are still playing with dark spiritual forces. The Bible makes it clear that there is no middle ground. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, the 30th verse, whoever is not with me is against me. By rejecting God and aligning with anything that mocks his truth, they are opening the door to real demonic influence in their lives. I know this personally because I came out of witchcraft. I used to be in practices that seemed harmless just like many people in these satanic movements think themselves. But let me tell you, those rituals, symbols, and beliefs are not just metaphorical. They carry real spiritual weight and they invite darkness into your life. When I was in witchcraft, I didn't realize how deep I was getting and Satan used the same tricks to deceive me. If you're watching this and you've been involved in witchcraft, the occult, Satanism. I'm here to tell you that there's hope. There is freedom in Christ Jesus, no matter how deep you think you've gotten. God's grace is enough to pull you out just like he pulled me out. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9, if you declare from your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Right now, Jesus is inviting you to turn away from the darkness and to come to the light. You don't have to stay bound to these things anymore. So if you want to be freed from the witchcraft and darkness, just like I was, right now is the time. I want you to pray this with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross for my sins, you were buried, and you rose from the dead on the third day. I turn away from all darkness, lies, and rebellion. I give my life to you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and lead me to your truth. 
I surrender to you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. Comment down below if you just gave your life to Christ or if you just love Jesus and get connected with us at the Remnant Revival Outreach Center if you'd like to grow in your relationship with God. Remember that Jesus is greater than any darkness. No matter what the enemy tries to do, whether through Satanism, witchcraft, or any form of deception, Christ has already won the victory on the cross. Stay rooted in him, stay in his word, stay in prayer, and keep exposing the enemy's lies with the truth of God's word. Until next time, stay strong in the Lord. What's going on, family? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Make sure to like the video and comment whatever you received from this video that blessed you. Also, we have another YouTube channel for our ministry, RROC International. Make sure to go subscribe. And also, we have Remnant Music Records, Holy Spirit-filled music that you can go follow and enjoy. Join us on school to get plugged in what we're doing all around the world through The Rock. Thank you for all those who partner in prayer and financial if you'd like to contribute to this ministry, you can look down below in the description and click the giving options to sow into what we're doing here at The Rock, winning souls and sparking revival all around the world. And lastly, if anyone reaches out to you asking for money, it is a scam. Do not give them money. All our giving options are down below. God bless you guys. I love you guys. May the Lord continue to grow you in intimacy with the knowledge of Him. In Jesus' name, amen.